Hello and welcome back to EFD, where today we will be looking closely at five teams who totally rely on one player. And in preparation for all our other Quality World Cup content, these stats have been taken from before the tournament. Five, Egypt and Mohamed Salah. This summer, Egypt have been present at their first World Cup in 28 years, led by African Football of the Year and Premier League Player of the Season, Mohamed Salah. The Egyptians scored 46 goals in the season for Liverpool as they came runners-up in the Champions League. And unsurprisingly, the 25-year-old was vital in taking his home nation to the finals. An average of one goal every 90 minutes in the Prem won Salah the Premier League golden boot. He emulated his club form for his country, knitting five in as many games and becoming the Egypt top goalscorer and the highest in CAF qualification, pretty much dragging them into their third ever World Cup and the first since 1990. In the Champions League, he scored 1.1 goals per 90 and assisted 0.5 times a game. He also performed last year international level at the African Cup of Nations, scoring twice and making two assists in just six games to take Egypt all the way to the final. Having made his international debut in 2011, he has earned 57 caps and scored 33 goals. Composed under pressure, Mo Salah even scored the 95th minute penalty to take Egypt through to the tournament and was directly responsible for 62.5% of Egypt's goals, dragging them to the World Cup. The Pharaoh supporters will be hoping he can recover from his shoulder injury and perform on the biggest stage, a platform he is pretty used to. Four. Poland and Robert Lewandowski. Following a 12-year absence from the tournament, Poland re-entered the World Cup by finishing above Denmark in European qualifying. Adam Nowalka's squad were on impressive form going into the tournament, bar their woeful defending, as they conceded 10 goals in 10 games. With that leaky backline, Poland have come to lean totally on 29-year-old Robert Lewandowski. In qualification, the Bayern Munich number 9 scored a record-breaking 16 times for his country, meaning he was on the end of 56% of Poland's goals in the run-up to the competition. Lewa's hat-trick in Poland's 6-1 victory over Armenia also meant he became his country's all-time top goalscorer, with 52 goals. The Polish squad naturally moulds around the world-class striker, in a 23-man squad that contains nine players from outside the top six leagues. The six-time Bundesliga winner will be heading not only the Polish attack, but also carrying all the weight of the nation's hopes on his shoulders. Scoring a goal every 56 minutes for his country, the hitman has been in electric form for Bayern, scoring 42 goals in 51 games this season. Meaning he must have travelled to Russia high on confidence, and a performance of that calibre at the World Cup would finally silence his critics who say he doesn't show up under pressure. 3. Denmark and Christian Eriksen Denmark entered the World Cup after finishing behind FC Lower in the European Group E to qualify. And much like the Polish, the Danes completely rely on one man. 26-year-old Christian Eriksen carried Denmark through their qualifications, scoring 11 goals and making 3 assists in 12 games. Stats only bettered by Lewandowski and Cristiano Ronaldo. While the Denmark squad does contain the familiar faces of Thomas Delaney, Andres Christensen and Simon Kaiser, the class of Eriksen lifts the stock of the entire squad, which even includes an Ipswich Town export. Having made his debut in 2010 at 18, becoming the fourth youngest Danish international, he now has collected 77 caps. A total of 21 international goals doesn't really do the playmaker justice, who has been the driving force of their attack for the last six years. In 2011, Eriksen dragged his home nation to the 2012 Euros, when he scored the deciding goal in a match against Iceland, becoming the youngest Dane to ever score in qualification. This season for Tottenham, Eriksen was fifth in the league for assists, making 10 in the Prem and scoring the same amount to help Spurs secure Champions League football for next season. The only team in London to do so. Ah. Directly responsible for 55% of their goals from midfield, his creativity has shown a glimpse of Denmark's goal threat and ruthlessness. Their manager has even admitted how heavily they rely on the Spurs player, saying he's in the top 10 players in the world. If he is given a chance to play, he is their most valuable asset. But if an opponent can effectively mark Ericsson out of the game, all hope for Denmark is lost. 2. South Korea and Song Kyung Min Tottenham Hotspur's Son is unsurprisingly the star of the South Korean squad, as only one of five players in their 23-man squad play in a top five league. The 25-year-old has been in glittering form this season as Tottenham claimed another year of Champions League football. Son was directly involved in 27 goals in all competitions and will be hoping to take the same form into the world's biggest competition. The forward is even more influential for his country. In 66 appearances for the Republic, he has scored 21 goals. 
While that record doesn't even place the Spurs man in the top 10 of all-time scores for South Korea, it does mean he averages a goal every 3.1 games. That's hardly spectacular, but still very impressive considering the lack of quality around him. No wonder they only qualified by two points in a group containing Qatar and Uzbekistan. Of those 21 strikes, five have come at international tournaments, including three at the 2015 Asian Cup, where he led his country to the final and sparked Tottenham's interest in the process. Currently valued at 90 million euros, if Son can drag his country through a mighty tough group containing Germany, Sweden and Mexico, you can bet that Daniel Levy's phone will be ringing all summer. 1. Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo Portugal's squad may have improved since their Euros win in 2016, but they are still over-reliant on their Madridster talisman. And while Eder might have been the hero in that final two years back, had it not been for Ronaldo's brace against Hungary in their final group game, the Celestal das Quinas wouldn't have even made the knockouts. And they can thank him for their place at this year's World Cup too. During the qualifiers, CR7 was directly involved in 18 goals, over half his side's total of 32. 15 of those were his own finishes, meaning he averaged a strike every 51 minutes. The best ratio in Europe. The last three years have been the best in Ronaldo's international career. In that time, he scored 26 goals in 26 appearances, putting Andre Silva's impressive 12 in 22 to relative shame. In total, the Madrid man has netted 81 times for Portugal, a full 34 ahead of second place Poleta in the national team's all-time scoring charts. However, since 2006, Portugal have struggled at World Cup finals, going out of the groups in Brazil and in the last 16 in South Africa. And Ronaldo's record reflects this, with just three goals in 13 appearances at the tournament. The maestro, who has captained his country for 11 years now, will be hoping to change all that in Russia. After all, at 33, this is surely his final crack at the biggest prize of all. So those are our five one-man teams at this year's World Cup. What do you think of the players that we picked and have we missed anyone out? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this, why not check out the video on screen right now and head over to Football Mundial with me and Michael. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.